Hi friends, this is Shohan Vera, Consultant Optometrist from India. Today I am going to tell you about Graves Ophthalmopathy. Let's start it with. Before knowing about Graves Ophthalmopathy, we have to know about thyroid. So let's start with what is a thyroid gland. The thyroid gland is a butterfly shaped endocrine gland that is normally located in the lower front of the leg. The thyroid's job is to make thyroid hormones which are secreted into the blood and then carried out to every tissue in the body. Thyroid hormone helps the body use energy, stay warm and keep the brain, heart, muscles and other organs working as they should. So what is Graves Ophthalmopathy? Graves Eye Disease also called Graves Ophthalmopathy or thyroid eye disease is a problem that usually develops in a people with an overactive thyroid caused by Graves disease. Graves disease is an autoimmune disease caused by antibodies directed against receptor presence in the thyroid cell and also on the surface of the cell behind the eyes. Rarely can also affect the skin, usually the front part of the legs. This usually result in a generalized overactive of thyroid gland, a hyperthyroidism. Up to one half of people with Graves disease develop eye symptoms. These are usually mild and treatable. So what are the symptoms of Graves ophthalmopathy? Eye symptoms most often begins within six months of diagnosis of Graves disease. Very rarely, eye problem may develop long after the thyroid disease has been treated. In some patients with eye symptoms, hyperthyroidism never develop and rarely patients may be hypothyroid. The severity of the eye symptoms is not related to the severity of the hyperthyroidism. Symptoms of Graves disease, eye disease includes feeling of irritation or grittiness in the eye, redness, inflammation of the conjunctiva, the white part of the eyeball, excessive tearing or dry eye, swelling of the eyelids, sensitivity to light, forward displacement or bulging of the eyes called proptosis and double vision. In more advanced eye diseases, there may also be decreased eye movement and eyelids, incomplete closure to the eye with corneal ulceration, compromise of the optic nerve and rarely loss of vision. So how is the diagnosis is made? If you have already been diagnosed with hyperthyroidism, a specialist or physician may diagnose Graves eye disease by examining your eyes and finding swelling and enlargement of the eye muscles. A comp computed tomography or CT scan or magnetic resonance imaging means MRI scan of the eye muscles may be helpful. Graves disease usually is associated with other symptoms of overactive thyroid. However, the classic symptoms of hyperthyroidism may not always be present. In fact, Graves eye disease can occur even when the thyroid is not overactive at that time. Graves eye disease often improves on its own. However, in some patients, symptoms may be persist despite treatment of the overactive thyroid gland and specific eye therapies. So prevention, Graves disease and usually the associated eye disease cannot be prevented. However, radioiodine therapy used to treat hyperthyroidism is more likely to worsen the eye disease and should be avoided if possible in patients with moderate or severe eye disease. Treatment with antithyroid drugs or surgery doesn't affect the course of eye disease. In, if radioiodine is used to treat hyperthyroidism in patients with moderate or severe eye disease, taking a corticosteroid drugs means maybe prednisone and acetate at the time of the treatment which is tapered over several weeks may help prevent worsening of Graves eye disease. Smokers are more prone to develop Graves ophthalmopathy than non-smokers and they should try to stop smoking. 
second hand exposure to smoke has the same effect as active smoking as and should be avoided. So, how is grapes ophthalmopathy treated? If you have grapes ophthalmopathy, one or more of the following treatment may help soothe your eyes and improve your vision. Apply cool compress to your eyes. The extra moisture may provide you relief. Wear sunglasses. When you have Graves' eye disease, your eyes are more vulnerable to ultraviolet rays and more sensitive to sunlight. Wearing sunglasses helps protect them from both sun and wind. Use lubricating eye drops. Eye drops like artificial tears may help relieve dryness and scratchiness. Be sure to use eye drops that do not contain redness remover. A lubricating gel can be used before bed to prevent the cornea from drying out because your eyelid may not cover the entire eye when sleeping. Elevate the head of your bed. Keeping your head higher than the rest of your body may reduce swelling and may help relieve pressure on your eyes. Prism. If double vision is a problem, glasses containing prism may be prescribed by your eye specialist. However, prism dark doesn't work for all people with double vision and your eye specialist may recommend surgery as a more effective option. Steroid. Swelling in the eye may be improved by treatment with steroid such as hydrocortisone or prednisone. Eyelid surgery because in Graves eye disease the eyelids are usually more widely open some patients may have difficulty to closing their eyelids leaving the eyeball more exposed which causes excessive tear and irritation. Surgical repositioning of the eyelid may help reduce the irritation. Eye muscle surgery, sometimes scar tissue from Graves ophthalmopathy can cause one or more eye muscles to be too short. This pulls your eyes out of alignment leading to double vision. Eye muscle surgery may help correct double vision by cutting the affected muscle from the eyeball and reattaching it further back. The goal is to achieve a single vision when you read and look straight ahead. In some cases, you may need more than one operation to get these results. This procedure are performed by an eye specialist called an ophthalmologist. Orbital decompression surgery. When eyesight is threatened, a type of surgery called orbital decompression can be done. In this procedure, a bone between the eye socket and orbit and sinus is removed to allow more space to swell in the tissue. When the procedure is successful, it improves vision and provides room for your eyes to return in their normal position. There is a risk of complication including double vision then persists or appears after surgery. All these surgical interventions should be performed at a medical center with expertise in the area or as they require a team approach and correct timing to ensure best likelihood of success at minimized risk. It is important the thyroid blood levels be maintained in the normal range. After treatment of an overactive thyroid, there is a high risk of becoming hypothyroid and underactive gland. Adequate thyroid replacement is essential to help keep Graves' eye disease from getting worse. So when to call a professional? Call your specialist if you notice any changes in the appearance of your eyes or in your vision or if you develop any of symptoms of Graves' eye disease. Prognosis Most of the symptoms Graves' disease including eye symptoms can be treated very successfully. So friends, this is all about Graves' ophthalmopathy. So those who are suffering from hypothyroid, sorry, hyperthyroidism, please stay safe, stay awake and go for regular checkup. So friends, this is all about Graves' ophthalmopathy. If you like my video, please like, share or subscribe us or any type of patient in your family or in your house who are suffering from this disease, please tell him to see this video. Please stay safe, stay healthy. Bye.